Hello and welcome to another video. If you're looking for all things Forza, then this is the place. In this video, I'm gonna be modifying and upgrading a Ford Anglia 105e. You have seen the title of the video, so yes, this is the same car that Ron Weasley has in Harry Potter. The car is also known as the Flying Ford. I bought it for 2000 credits from the auction house. After I bought the car I realized that I already had one. So now I had two. And then I decided to transform this one into something cool. And while I do that, I'm gonna be showing it to you. First up, I'm gonna drive to the festival because you can see the car better over there. Oh my god, listen to that pop. Street racers almost crashed into me. Anyway, listen to this. I'm pressing hard on the accelerator. Two hours later. Finally, we are here at the festival. This video has been sped up to save your time. I will explain the upgrades. So in the engine, I started by putting all the sport upgrades, but it wasn't enough to top the C-Class. So I installed all the race upgrades except the carburetor, camshaft, engine block, and the oil cooling. I put sports upgrades for them. Platform and handling, all race upgrades, only the brakes are sport. In the drivetrain, race clutch and driveline. Stock transmission and differential. I put Horizon race tire compound. Stock width for front tires because it decreases launch and acceleration. 195 mm rear tires for better launch. Rims, well I like these American racing rims. No change in rim size for better performance. In appearance, I removed the bumpers. And then I decided to put no turbocharger or supercharger. The whole setup cost me about 54,000 credits. Let's take a look at the designs. There is a flying car design which I told you about earlier. Ron's car. Harry Potter. I like this flames design. There is a Ford design too, it looks good too, but I'm going for flames. Let's take a look around the car. A very nice job done on the design, I like it. Genuine Ford Anglia engine of course. If you swap the engine, then you're basically not driving the same car as the original. So I believe in upgrading the stock engine. Now let's start it. Oh my god. 
This thing is aggressive. Let's drive it out. As you can see, I'm at the drag strip, so we're gonna test the car's acceleration here. Aggressive pops. One sixty four, not bad. Now we are testing it in a street race, test of speed as well as handling. It is very responsive, it turns very quickly. Something happened there and now we are in first place. The car is a rear wheel drive, but it really feels like a front wheel drive. There is still about half of the race left and nobody is behind me. You might be wondering why I decided to go for stock transmission. Well it was decreasing the launch a lot and it wasn't really increasing the top speed. So the car would have done the same speed but just in more gears. and across the line thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed watching it click on the like button subscribe to see new videos i'll see you in the next one i hope you're doing well